In this lesson, we're going to use a very simple boogie-woogie pattern to illustrate the true nature of time and rhythm. Let's go. Now, before we take a closer look at this boogie-woogie pattern, let's make sure we understand something profoundly important about the nature of musical time. And that is this. Musical time, rhythm, is not something that exists as some abstract notion of counting in your intellect. Musical time is not one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Musical time lives and breathes in physical motion. So if you find yourself trapped in the mode of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we're going to liberate you by incorporating the intelligence of your body, right? Let's take some more closer looks. Playing with good rhythm is not like hammering nails into a board. T hammer, 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 right? Good time is more like a continuously rotating wheel that has no beginning and no end. It just keeps going round and round and round and round. So let's make sure we capture the circular aspect of time in our body. Ready? Just get a feel for that, right? Pretend you're a conductor in an orchestra. Circles, circles, never stopping. Right? Time never stops. Ever. Right? If I stop, ah, I've just got, yeah. Every time I stop, I'm ripping the canvas. Right? Time is my canvas. Time is the canvas where the music is painted on. Right? And it's flowing. Never ending. No beginning. No end. Time. Right? Don't try and explain it. Just enjoy it. If you really want to see the genius of allowing musical time to be expressed in the living, breathing motions of your body, just watch Ray Charles play. And I don't care what he's playing. He could be playing fast, slow, loud, soft. He could be playing a blues, a country tune, a ballad. He could be swinging or rocking. It doesn't matter. The time is living and breathing in every fiber of his being. Right? It's not even just in, it's not just in his fingers and hands and arms. It's in his shoulders, in his torso, it's in his neck, his head, his nose, his ears, it's in his hips his legs, his knees, and his ankles. I contend it's in his toes. And if you could take his shoes off, you would see his toes swinging with what he's playing, right? So this is a great illustration, a great example of how to allow the natural intelligence of our bodies to contribute to our musical time. So. Watch Ray Charles and be inspired. Now with these things in mind, we're going to play our boogie woogie pattern once more and then do a fun little experiment.
was the point of this experiment? Well, I don't know what you got out of it, but let me tell you what my intentions were. And there were two, at least two. First one is this. Even though we stripped away the details of individual notes and fingerings and chords, right? We didn't lose the rhythm. The rhythm was not destroyed. So the point here is this, that the rhythm is much bigger than the details. In fact, I would argue the rhythm is an organizing force that allows us to coordinate the details. The other thing I hope you learned is this, and it's kind of a corollary of the fact that the rhythm doesn't live in the details, right? It's not that the rhythm flows from your fingertips inward. No, the rhythm flows from your center, the center of your body physically, the center of your body emotionally, spiritually, however you want to describe it, right? So again, rhythm is a large organizing force that lives and breathes in your body and flows from the center outward. Let's finish this video off by doing one more experiment. Let's play the same pattern two different ways. First, by intentionally preventing the genius of our bodies from participating in the music making. How do we do that? Well, we're gonna weld our butt to the piano bench, and then we're gonna weld our feet to the floor, and then we're gonna put our head in a clamp. Uh, now we're gonna try to make great music. Ready, go. pain, unmusic, no rhythm. Blah, we can do better, right? Let's let ourselves go. All we're going to do now is we're not going to try to do anything. We're just going to allow our body to naturally fit the flow of the music, right? We're going to let our whole body sway left and right or forward and back, right? We're going to allow our arms to flow with the music we're playing. We're going to tap our toes, right? Woo, heels, toes, woo, just let yourself go, right? Don't try and do anything, just get out of your own way. And let's see what happens. Trust the innate genius of your body and its ability, ability, ability to generate rhythm and enjoy the results.